Hello, we have this equation. This is a power 2 minus b power 2 equals 9 and a times b equals 3. We are solving for a plus b. That is the value of a plus b. Now, what we can do, if you observe this difference of two squares, so we apply the formula for difference of two squares. That is, if you have a squared minus b squared, this is a minus b times a plus b. So we are going to replace this with a minus b times a plus b. So we have a minus b times a plus b equals 9. Now we can make this a plus b the subject here. We divide this by a minus b. And we also divide this by a minus b. So from here, let's cancel this. So we have a plus b equals 9 divided by a minus b. So what we can do again is to take the squares and take the squares over part of this equation. So let's expand this. This is just like having a squared plus b squared plus 2 times ab equals to expand this 9 power 2. This is just like having 9 power 2 divided by a minus b to the power of 2. We distribute this exponent to each of the terms here. So right now, we are going to have a squared plus b squared plus 2 times ab equals 9 squared, that is 81, divided by a minus b squared. This is just like having a squared plus b squared minus 2 times ab. So we can cross multiply. This is divided by 1. We can cross multiply. 81 times 1, so we have 81, and this equals this. We we'll multiply this. We have a squared plus b squared plus 2 times ab times a squared plus b squared minus 2 times ab. So from here, we can simply have 81 equals a squared times a squared. That is a power 4 plus a squared times b squared. That is a squared b squared plus b squared times minus 2ab. So we have minus 2 a power 3b. Then we have b squared times a squared. So we have plus b squared a squared or a squared b squared, then b squared times b squared, L plus b power 4, b squared times this, we have minus 2 ab power 3. Then we have 2ab times a squared, we have plus 2a power 3b, plus 2ab times b squared, we have 2a b power 3 minus 2ab times 2ab. This is 4a squared b squared. So from here, we have 81 equals this is a power 4. Now let's cancel out some terms. This cancel this then what again this cancel this so what we have is simply a power 4 so we have that plus is a power 4 plus we have 
be powerful. Blocks, we have a power two, a power two. Then we also have plus, this is b power two, a power two. So that is two a power two b power two. I'm going to do that. Then we have minus four a squared b squared. So this will be 81 equals a power four plus b power four plus two a squared b squared. Minus four a squared b squared. So I can easily have this as eighty one equals a power four is a squared power two plus this is b squared power two plus this is two a squared b squared minus this is four times can have a times b raised to the power of two. I'm factoring out the exponent here. And for, don't forget that a b is three. Remember a b is three. So I'm going to have eighty one equals for this this part of the equation. I'm going to make use of this identity. If you have a squared plus b squared raised to the power of two. If you expand this, we are going to have this part of the identity or this part of the equation. If you expand this, it's going to give you this part of the equation. So that means we are going to replace this with this, right? Then we have minus four times, like I said, AB is three. So we have three power two. Remember AB is three. So from here, we have 81 equals, this is a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2 minus 3 power 2 is 9, that is 4 times 9. So from here, we have 81 equals a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2 minus 36. So what I can do is to move this over here. So I have 81, this place becomes plus 36 equals a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2. So 81 plus 36 is 117 and this equals a squared plus b squared raised to the power of 2. So what we can do is to take the square root output part of this equation. So this cancel this. So what we are going to have will be this will be plus or minus square root of 117 equals a squared plus b squared. So right now I can simply rearrange this. I have a squared plus b squared equals plus or minus square root of 117. And from here I have a squared plus b squared equals plus or minus square root of 117 is simply 9 times 13. So from here I have a squared plus b squared equals plus or minus square root of 9 is 3. So we have 3 root 13. So I can simply have this this way, right? Now, let's consider this other identity. If you have a plus b raised to the power of two, since we are looking for a plus b, I need to have it here. This is a squared plus b squared plus two times a b. So what this simply means is that, remember our a b is three. I'm going to replace that here. A plus B is what we are solving for. And A squared plus B squared is what we have here. So I'm going to have A plus B raised to the power of 2 equals A squared plus B squared is plus or minus 3 root 13 plus 
2 times AB is 3. So from here, a plus b raised to the power of 2 equals plus or minus 3 times root 13 plus 6. So from here, I have a plus b raised to the power of 2 equals 6 plus or minus 3 root 13. So what we can do is to take the square root in order to find a plus b. So I took the square root of this and I take the square root of this. So this cancel this. I have a plus b because this will give us plus or minus square root of this is 6 plus or minus 3 root 13. Now there is something that we are going to do. So let's do that quickly so that we know which of this will give us a correct solution. So that means a plus b will be plus or minus square root of 6 plus 3 root 13, the first one here. Or I can also have a plus b equals plus or minus square root of 6 minus this tarot minus 3 root 13. Now look at this here. Look at this here. Look at, look, at, look at what we have here. This will give us positive value. A plus b will give us positive value. But this, what we have here, will give us complex value because this is negative. So this will give us some complex values and that is why we are not going to accept this particular solution. So the only solution we are going to accept is this one here. The one that has positive here because this will give us positive value which is the same thing as this. So the only solution we have here is a plus b is plus or minus square root of 6 plus 3 root 13. This is our solution. So guys, this is how you solve this problem step by step i believe you enjoy it please don't forget to subscribe and share thank you and goodbye